Hey guys, so today is my one year on T, um, like one full calendar year. It's pretty awesome. So for this video, I wrote down a list of all of my physical and behavioral changes since starting testosterone one year ago today. Um, yeah, and I think after this video, you guys are just going to get a video from me on the third of every month because I don't really have enough weekly changes to warrant making a video. So yeah, um, anyways... As for physical changes, um, I am going to get into like more detail um, with certain changes that may be a little private, and if you're put off by that, I'll tell you in the video when I'm about to talk about it so you can fast forward, but I feel like it's really important information because I know like when I was first researching testosterone and wanting to start T, like certain things were concerned that I really couldn't find much information about so I'm gonna put that in this video um, if you don't want to watch it then fast forward anyways I'll tell you when I'm gonna do that though but um, as for physical changes and these are in no particular order just things I've noticed over the year um, first one would be weight distribution um, now all of it's kind of like in my gut and in my love handles um, whereas before, uh, um, most of my fat was like, I guess in a more hourglass distribution. Um, I used to have a really big ass before T2, and now I have like none, pretty much. Or at least it's not as big. Um, and with that weight redistribution or the fat redistribution, I've noticed that my chest size has gone down probably like a cup size, um, give or take. Uh, when I started testosterone, I was a D cup. Now, I think it would be a small C or a large B. Um, yeah, so that's kind of interesting. Like, you don't lose your amount of breast tissue, but the amount of fat in it. So, that was interesting. Um, <clears throat> I've also noticed an increase in weight. Um, you will gain weight on T, um, especially if you don't work out or anything. And yeah, I don't really work out. Um, so yeah, I've noticed a weight increase. I've probably gained like 15 pounds since starting. Um, yeah. Uh, and also, I've got like, my face shape is different um, since starting T, because I've got the moon face, and like, I think it's both from the testosterone and just from the weight gain in general, but my face is definitely like, rounder. I've got like, the baby cheeks going, um, but yeah. Next change I've noticed would be body scent, um, and this is a more recent change that I've noticed. Um, like I, I can't explain it, but I smell different, and I guess I smell more manly. Um, yeah, it's really hard to explain, but I've definitely noticed a change in body scent. Um, I've noticed a change in my hair pattern. It definitely does this number more. Um, and like even my widow's peak is kind of setting back now but it's like definitely receded here like into more male pattern um which is a good thing i got the mohawk before this video because you wouldn't be able to see that otherwise um but yeah and i've also noticed that my hair texture has changed um like it's a lot thicker and coarser um yeah and it's not like when I was growing it out, it had like a weird little wave thing to it. Um, whereas before starting tea, my hair was completely straight. Um, so yeah, that that's definitely different. Um, uh, next would be um, body hair uh, everywhere, like literally everywhere. Um, on my chest, on my stomach, I'm not gonna show you. On my legs, I'll show you my legs too. Yeah, that's hot, right? Um, not really, they're all pasty white, cause there's no sun here. Um, anyways, yeah, like, it's everywhere on my hands, knuckles, on my feet, and my toes. Um, yeah, it's literally everywhere. Um, it's also downstairs area. Um, even though I keep it shaved, but, like, I've noticed that there's a lot more and um yeah if you haven't noticed this is where i'm gonna start talking about that so if you want to fast forward do it um especially if my parents are watching this please don't 
much about my junk. Um, but one of my main concerns in transitioning was um, how much growth I was going to get downstairs. Because my motto is, if it ain't if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, so that was my main concern. I really couldn't find any information about how much change would go down. But, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know the exact amount of growth I've had, but I can tell you now that it is approximately two inches. So now you all know my dig size. Um, yeah. Uh, it's probably a little less than two inches. Between one and a half and two. I mean, that's a wild guesstimation, but yeah. Anyway, so now that you know that, that's over. I'm not going to talk anymore about that. Um, but yeah, that was one of my main concerns in, I guess, finding information about transitioning because I didn't want it to, I don't know, I just didn't want things to change too much. Um, I'm actually like pretty happy with the changes. It still works. It's not an issue. Um, anyways, other changes now because that was sufficiently awkward. Um, facial hair, this is about five days without shaving, it's growing up more here and here, which is nice, um, can't see my mustache at all, it's growing up more here, which is also good, um, I've noticed that my nose is also bigger, um, yeah. I don't know why, um, but I've definitely noticed that my nose has grown, and my eyebrows are thicker, I think. They look thicker. Um, but yeah, so those are like my more facial changes. Um, I just got a text. Uh, get out of here. Um, anyways, I've also noticed that my feet have grown a full shoe size. Um, I have my muscle thing, and I think it also goes with the weight gain thing. Um, I don't really work out, but I have noticed an increase in muscle and, like, I guess just an increase in overall strength. Um, yeah. It's hard to explain, um, especially because I don't really work out. Um, but I definitely have noticed an increase in muscle. Um, and I guess my last physical change is my voice. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty much, like, leveled out to where it's going to stay, but, I mean, it could drop a little more, but I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where it's going to stay, um, and I'm pretty, pretty happy about it, so yeah, um, and as for behavioral changes, I don't think I forgot any physical changes, yeah, I think I covered every physical change, um, behaviorally, I've noticed that, um, I'm calmer. Um, I mean, like, I'm still hyper after I, like, get my dose, but I'm still, like, overall calmer. Um, like, it takes more for me to get, like, super excited about something, and it, and it takes more for me to get super pissed about something. And I've noticed that when I do get angry, which is not very often at all, like, it takes a lot to piss me off. Um, but I handle it differently. Um, I'll either straight up tell the person that, hey, this is bothering me, or instead of, like, internalizing it and just letting it build up like I used to, um, I'll just, like, ask myself, why are you getting mad about this? Is it worth it? No, it's not. Okay, then stop being mad. And, like, it's fixed. <laughs> um, but I think that's just one of my anger management exercises. Um, but yeah, I've definitely noticed the way I handle anger is a lot different. Um, yeah. See, what else is there? Um, even though I'm like a really quiet person all the time, um, I'm still like more confident and outgoing than I was before starting tea. And I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm sure my friends here don't really notice that. They think I'm like super shy and awkward all the time, but like. I'm not as shy and awkward as I was before, um, but I think, like, the confidence things are more, and, like, even the anger things are more just, like, the fact that I'm on T and have been able to transition, like, because I feel like before I had a lot of pent-up anger about being trans, and now, like, since I'm this far in my transition, like, it's just, like, why would I be angry, because I'm so happy about everything, um, 
And I think that's also with the confidence thing. It's like, before I wasn't confident because I just, I wasn't myself on the outside. And now I guess that I've achieved that physically and I'm where I want to be like in society, then like, I don't know, I'm just more confident and outgoing and it's awesome. Uh, I've noticed that like overall I am a lot happier. Um, yeah. I, I still have like a few down moments. Like last week I was pretty down. But I think that's just because I live in Michigan and there's no sun here and it's always cold and rainy or snowy. But overall, like I'm I'm a very happy person. Um so yeah. And what else was I going to say before I went on that tangent? I remember. Insomnia. Um, I've had insomnia since literally the day I started testosterone. Um, like, pretty bad. I take melatonin now, um, and it works pretty well. You can get it in the vitamin section or whatever at your grocery store or Meyer or Walmart or wherever you go. Um, it works pretty well, like, take it about an hour before you want to fall asleep, and make sure you set, like, seven alarm clocks, because you will oversleep six of them. Um, yeah, but at least I can sleep now, um, which is pretty awesome. Anyways, sorry it's such a long video. Um, hopefully I covered everything. If I didn't cover everything, or you still have more questions, just, I guess, message me on YouTube, or message me on Facebook, if we're Facebook friends, or hit me up on Tumblr, or wherever you're watching this from, because um, I will definitely answer your questions. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully I covered everything, hopefully this has been helpful to you if you're looking into starting testosterone and want to know what changes to expect within a year, um, so yeah. And I guess I'll see you guys on April 3rd. Um, it's going to be weird going so long without making videos, but I think it'll be it'll be for the better. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys have a good week and a good rest of the month.